peace to all of you who truly love Jesus Christ and uh, follow him with your whole heart. Today I want to uh, talk about one of the most demonic teachings that is out there today. And this teaching is widespread all over the world. It is certainly a, a doctrine of devils. It is a, a teaching that, you know, causes people to go towards pernicious ways. This is a teaching that really strengthens the hands of the wicked. Just like the Bible talks about, uh, the prophets uh, warned about. Once saved, always saved. And... Uh, you know, some people hold on to this doctrine so tightly, no matter what you tell them, no matter how many scriptures you show them, they just will not believe the truth about uh, uh, someone being able to fall away from the faith, like the Bible teaches about. And all throughout scripture, this understanding is never taught. Jesus didn't teach it. His apostles didn't teach it. And what people will do, and of course this is through the uh, kingdom of darkness, is they take certain scriptures. You know, they'll take one scripture and they'll twist that scripture to uh, see what they want to see. Because the, the whole point of this doctrine is to be able to live the way that uh, they want to live, to not have to strive to enter into the kingdom, to not have to uh, crucify their flesh. See, they want to have God and have what it is, whatever it is they want as well. See, they won't live totally in sin, but they don't want to give up everything like Jesus Christ commanded. That if you don't forsake all that you have, you cannot be his disciple. And this teaching, once saved, always saved, is a teaching that allows men to continue in sin. To continue to uh, love the world. Just like the, the word says that if you love the world or the things of the world... Then the love of the Father is not in you. So, once you're saved, according to, you know, these people's doctrines and their belief, once you're saved and you're filled with the Holy Spirit, if you go back to loving the world and the things of the world, then God's word becomes a lie. Because he said it, that if you love the world or the things in the world, that the love of the Father is not in you. Is that true or is it false? You know, uh, the word says that if you sin, that if you say that you know God, yet you continue to sin, that you are a liar. Is that true or is it false? It says that... You will continue in God, you know, continue in the faith if you continue in his goodness. You know, there there's so many scriptures that show that you can uh, start out in the faith and then you can fall away. Jesus showed this in the parable of the sower and the seed. You had seeds that uh, received the word, you know, they started out. In the faith. And then they fell away. Why? Because of tribulations. Because of perse persecutions. Because of the pleasures and loves of this world. What, what, why would Jesus give us these warnings about. You know tribulations and persecutions. And continuing in him. If there was no danger. If there was no danger for those who were saved. You know, Jesus said that his kingdom is for those who overcome, for those who endure until the end. 
they will be saved. So, you know, I, I hope that you are willing to stop teaching this false doctrine. Stop believing it. Because this is a doctrine that is, like I said, going to destroy so many souls. It's a doctrine that Satan loves to teach. He loves for people to believe this doctrine. And he is someone who is not using a new uh, method of destruction. He's not using a new strategy. Just like he told Eve in the beginning that she uh, that God did not say that you will surely die. See, he wants you to believe that you can uh, rebel against God and still live. That you can sin against God and live. That the wages of sin is not death. That's what Satan wants you to believe. And it's a lie. Just like it was a lie in the beginning, it's a lie today. The gospel of grace does not give you a license to sin. It does not, uh, you know, Jesus is not telling you that it's okay for you to not do what he said. He said, you are my friend if you do whatever I command you. We have to be like the wise man who builds his house on the rock, who hears the sayings of Jesus Christ and does them. These are the ones who will be saved. The meek will in, in, inherit the earth. The pure in heart will see God. Without holiness, no man will see God. And see, once saved, always saved tells you that as long as you have uh, confessed Jesus Christ and, and you had some type of belief that he died and rose again, that he died for the sins of the world, that you will be saved. No matter what you do. You know. No matter uh, how you are found by Jesus Christ. You know. When Jesus told us that we must be found by him. Watching. Alert. You know. The, the wise and the foolish virgins. You had some who were watching and ready. For the. Uh, for the bridegroom. But then you had those who. We're not ready. You know, we have to be prepared for Jesus Christ. We have to be preparing ourselves now. Building, uh, storing up our treasure in his kingdom now. Because there will be many who cry, Lord, Lord. You know, saying, uh, you know, Lord, I thought I was once saved, always saved. You know, I thought I was yours. But you have to go to Jesus Christ for his truth, because there's only one way into the kingdom of God. And it's through the words of Jesus Christ to hear his words and believe them. Many people say that they uh, believe in Jesus, but they have no understanding what that means. You cannot believe in Jesus Christ and not believe the words that he says. He said, unless you hate your mother and father, sister and brother, your children and your own, li own life also, you cannot be his disciple. Do you believe him? He said, unless you come to him, you deny yourself, pick up your cross daily and follow him. You cannot be his disciple. Do you believe him? You have to believe in Jesus Christ. Not just believe about him, you know, believe that he was here. You have to trust his words. Trust what he taught. Live as he lived. That's the way into the kingdom of heaven. To humble yourself. To become as little children. To change. To be converted. That is the kingdom of heaven. And most people today are not truly believing in Jesus Christ. They believe about him, but they don't believe his words. They don't uh, try to strive to follow his words, to live as he lived. 
people see the life of Jesus Christ and they are not attracted to his lifestyle, to his way. They want to live their own way. They want to live uh, the way of this world. To chase after mammon, after money, and after success, after dreams. But when you come to Jesus Christ, you have to lay down everything. It, you know, people look at the apostles of Christ and they say, you know, they see Peter and all of these men who dropped their whole lives to pick up and follow Jesus Christ. And, and people don't believe that they have to do the same. But that's a lie. You have to do the exact same thing that the apostles and the disciples of Jesus had to do. They dropped everything and they put all of their focus and, and, and strength into following him. And we are required to do the same. We have to forsake all that we have, all that we are. Consider ourselves as nothing before him and follow him. Follow his way. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And unless you hate your life in this world, you will lose your life. And, and if you lose your life for the sake of Jesus Christ, for his name, you will find it. You will find eternal life. And that's the only way. There's no other way because Jesus is the way. And, and man wants you to believe that there's many ways that that uh, it's OK to uh, have a broad way into the kingdom of God. You know, you know, there's many people that's going to make it. That's what Satan wants you to believe. But that's not the truth. It's narrow. It's a narrow way that leads to Jesus Christ. Be blessed.